my phone died in the middle of that. So anyway, the King of Swords can also be somebody who's very cutting with their words. Somebody who is possibly manipulative at times or ego-driven at times. Somebody who really can use words in either a good or bad way very effectively. The King of Pentacles can also be somebody who could be materialistic at times or maybe too focused on work as well. And then we have the King of Cups, which is somebody who's very loving, emotionally mature, someone who can really, a lot of times, not show their emotions a whole lot, but they still have a very deep well of emotions. And it's possible that there may even be others talking about you in a group. There's going to be some sort of balance and some sort of decision made throughout this weekend. Or possibly some sort of karmic cycle ending. I'm going to grab a couple extra cards for this pile. Okay. So... <laughs> Maybe this is somebody that you know specifically. It might be one person. I was saying something about one person earlier, and I'm kind of feeling it might be one person. It might be somebody who has finally found this well of self-love within themselves to be able to feel and know their own value, to be able to face the truth of their worth, to be able to finally balance the scales by being able to communicate the truth of the emotions they feel within themselves for someone else. There's going to be a lot of happiness and celebration. And this is going to bring in a very grounded, stable, strong foundation to whatever connection this is. Justice is going to be served in this situation. And all of the things that maybe happened in the past, because I think that deceit card might be about the past. Seem to be being cleared away. Yeah, karma being released. And finally being able to, somebody finally being able to not care what anybody else thinks and just be themselves and put in the hard work where they feel that they should be putting it and being able to patiently await a harvest of their efforts. We got engagement too. So we have the engagement card and the four of wands, which is about, the four of wands is also about marriage. Today I make the conscious choice to engage with the world in an active way. I'll take a new route and talk to strangers. I will smell flowers and pet dogs and maybe walk around barefoot for a while. If I'm not seeing inside a 7-Eleven, at the very least I'll have a day that's slightly more interesting than average. And at the most I'll have a startling epiphany or make a friend who will change my life forever. So you're going to be engaging in a lot of conversation, I think, too. A lot of happiness, celebration, passion, love, emotion, friendship. Possibly being able to fix something that some kind of friendship or caring connection that had been hurt in the past. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So working hard, learning, growing, overcoming things, understanding things, putting in the effort, and now waiting patiently for something to come in. And being able to just go with the flow. This weekend, I think, would be a really good thing. 
this was a very complex one. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you for watching. And I hope you're crazy, but it looks really exciting and fun at the same time. Weekend is very good. Have a good night. Or day. Pile three. So for pile three, we have happy family. We have generosity. I give generously to those around me, no matter how much or how little I have. I know that there's more than enough to go around, and the key is to allow it to keep going around without stopping. If I stop the flow, I'm like the one person at the stadium who doesn't do the wave. Vitality. I am healthy and vital and strong. My radiant love of life fills me with healthy, vital, and strong cells. Each cell is a warrior. Everyone has its own sword and shield. I dare you to try and penetrate my cellular army. Didn't think so, chump. I think there's going to be a lot of happiness in your weekend. A lot of happiness in your weekend. Which is really awesome. There's going to be a lot of willpower and determination as well. And positivity, optimism, friendliness. You guys got extra of these cards too. Whenever I smile, I make someone's day better. What a cool way to buy happiness for free. Today I will remember what an awesome power I hold and take joy in improving lives simply by giving grins like crazy. Note, in a pinch, money will also work. <clears throat> power. I am strong, I am grounded, I am powerful, like a cross between a dinosaur and a tank, but not a tank that is used for war. I'm like a peaceful, loving dino tank who feels so strong it doesn't need to do anything but be. So it seems like you're going to have a very grounded, strong, stable weekend with friends and family and loved ones and a lot of happiness, a lot of generous generosity and giving going on. A lot of vitality and strength and joy and optimism, happiness going on. The world. The Ten of Pentacles. Strength. The Knight of Cups. The Ace of Swords. The Five of Wands. The Queen of Swords. And the... Nine of Pentacles. So there may be a little bit of a, there might be a little bit of a confusing conflict going on either inside yourself internally in your thoughts or on the outside or some kind of competition of some kind in some way. But there's just a need to be able to set your boundaries and speak your truth and stand your ground and know your worth and to be able to cut through any bullshit that may be going on. There's going to be a lot of communication in your weekend, a lot of communication in your weekend. There may be even a few hiccups, but the ability to overcome them without even any kind of challenge, really. There may be an expression of love of some kind. There might be some imagination and joy or romance. And maybe a need for emotional mastery and stability. Being able to make sure you're not looking at anything from a place of rose-colored glasses or some kind of cycle coming to an end and a new beginning of some sort. There's going to be a lot of family time this weekend. A lot of you might be spending the holiday with not just your immediate family, like your husband or wife or kids or, you know, but more like your parents or your grandparents possibly or cousins or brothers and sisters 
there's going to be more of an extended family feeling to this weekend and maybe even a little bit of a need for some time and space on your own and being able to put down your foot if you do need that time and space to yourself. Maybe there's going to be a little bit of competing for attention in some way. And then for the Happy Family card, I'm going to read that one from the book. We have <clears throat> Closeness, Fun, and Caring. The rainbow over this happy family portends a time of joy and celebration. Close connections are available, so don't overlook the fun and frivolity that a friend or a family experience can bring. And so being able to know your worth as well, and maybe being able to accept in the loving vibes around you, you know, not be... Try not to be closed off. Or there may be somebody else in your life that might be a little bit closed off. And maybe just try a little harder to bring the fun in. Because sometimes it can be a very stressful time period when the holidays are around. And hard to be able to experience the fun when you have so many other things going on. The value that you find in a truly loving relative or friend brings a higher vibrational experience to your life force. You may be distracted or busy, but remember to put this part of your life in the forefront of your priorities. If you're single, finding this card in your spread could indicate a potential meeting and perhaps relationship with someone who has children from a previous marriage. This ready-made family might bring some challenges, but it could also be your destiny in this lifetime. This card may also simply signify a new celebration coming up, such as a wedding, an anniversary, or a birthday party. Enjoy. Affirmation. I open myself to a new and deeper experience of family and I am ready to see greater happiness there. I know that I am the loving family that I need. And so the Nine of Pentacles at times too can also be a single person, someone who's on their own. And the Knight of Cups can be somebody coming in with a love offer. Since it said that in that card, it was definitely worth mentioning. And there might be a lot of, just a lot of family get-togethers and a lot of, a lot going on in general. Knowing what's worth fighting for and being able to stand your ground and stand in your power and know your worth. And at the same time, trying not to cut off the people around you that are bringing forth loving energy. Kind of take down the walls on your heart a little bit and let them a little closer. And that's what's going to be going on this weekend is kind of ending cycles of the past and new beginnings. Maybe even a truthful, communicative new beginning. Something that's going to be strong, stable, and long-lasting. That's what I have for this pile. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.